Hey y'all, it's Brandon with Voodoo Forge, and I needed another pry bar slash nail puller. So, let's get on it. So I ran out to my stockpile and I found a piece of uh, 25 inch by one inch drill rod. But it's got the bit on it, which we don't need. So I'll cut that off. First thing I'm going to do is throw this end in the forge, heat it up and normalize it so it's a little easier to cut. There we go. I went ahead and cut this end off too because it's very it pitted. And I uh, just wanted to go ahead and get all the pits that were on the end off. And uh, I think this is going to be the end we're going to draw out. I don't normally wear gloves when forging, but this is hot. I'm going to let this cool down and then I'm going to cut part of that tip off. So I marked it close to the center line. I'm going to put some center punches on it. Because this is where we are going to split it. Moving to the cut plate on the anvil. Okay, it's a, got my hot cut here. There we go, there's our nail puller.
got all the forging and everything ground the way I want it. So now I'm gonna thermo cycle the whole thing. I'm gonna basically stick it in the forge, heat the whole thing up, and then let it just normalize. should be nice and relaxed. Finished product is a little over 22 inches long. We've got our nail puller in and then the pry bar end. Uh, I find the pry bar ends especially in a bar this small is really handy um, putting implements on and off the tractor and moving machines things like that of course you can use it any kind of wrecking that you're doing so now we just need to try it out and see how it does Well, y'all, that's all there is to it. A couple of questions that come up every time I do something like this. I don't need to harden and temper this. I just normalize it. That leaves the steel really tough and for any job that I need doing with it. Um, it is, it's great for pulling nails. It's great for just prying and moving stuff around. So anyway, another handy tool that I needed. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Y'all behave yourselves.